hello viewers in this tutorial we are going to implement this transfer function for implementing this transfer function we will need three element one is source uh, since we are going to see the step response as a source we are going to use a step and then we will need a transfer function and to see the output we will need a uh, scope so let's start clicking the simulink uh, open blink model then go out there click here and the source bring a step so right click out there add model see the step is out there now I will bring the uh, elements from now in another method just now delete this one delete now right here just single click out there and write the thing which uh, we, you want to bring and to bring is step source step so this is the step source just enter so here is the element just uh, same way we bring the transfer function write transfer function transfer fn fcm okay this is the one there is the transfer function and uh, now I will bring the scope C O P E scope mm, the thing uh, we need to do is just um, joining the elements for this um, right click out there bring the cursor and connect right click bring the cursor and connect I will uh, see a sim uh, see the simulation for 30 second and uh, change the default configuration step one 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 okay uh, transfer function need to change this one so double click here just uh, see the numerator the coefficient of s square s square is one so I am keeping it this one, uh, one. Then co coefficient of s is four to zero. I am keeping that one four to zero. Then s constant there is zero. So I am writing zero. See the numerator. Uh, in the numerator, the coefficient of s square is one. So keeping one. And the coefficient of s is six to zero. So write six to zero. 620 and s constant there are uh, there is 4000 so write 4000 so now okay to see the transfer function uh, interior just expand uh, make it larger so. okay. okay this is the transfer function so this one is the input this is a transfer function uh, which is a representative of a system and uh, this is the output line and uh, in this scope we can see the graph of output now uh, i want to change the resolution go out there select model configuration variable step solver uh, I will uh, make it a fixed step and in this step size I will keep 1 e minus 3 ok now run the uh, simulation see the output uh, from there this is the step response now uh, I want to see the input 2 in the scope so how can you do this uh, just right click out there print the cursor release the mouse oh sorry it didn't work delete this one Left -click, uh, right click release so in this way I am connecting uh, 
the input to in this line we will uh, see the input signal and in this line we will see the output signal so uh, for uh, identifying individually just name the wires how can you name this uh, left click out there for two times right input similarly here to two times and output okay this is the thing okay now we run the simulation again see output from there by double clicking scope and uh, there is the graph there is the graph there is the graph so uh, which one uh, this is the the yellow one is the response and the blue one is the input let's bring the ligand out there so how can you do this click out there just click out there and there is the ligand out there and if you want to change the color click out there click there and for output currently it's yellow now you can change any color just uh, give this one uh, okay you can see the uh, color has changed to another color again for input uh, not there changing input input uh, currently it's blue i have to change this uh, change uh, let's give this one okay uh, if you want to change the thickness uh, two okay and uh, okay let's see let's see this is the input this is the output and uh, if you want to change uh, the line let's say I want to give uh, dot 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 okay dot 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 okay so this is the dot 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 this is the output in this way uh, you can see analyze the graph of step response see you in the next tutorial thank you